Hello everybody! Welcome to my channel. This is Bonnie's Fluid Creations Art and I'm Bonnie. And what you're looking at is a canvas. It's dried. I have already poured um, a base down and put my colors over top the base. And now I'm going to embellish it for another galaxy universe pour. Let me show you the last few that I did. Now I don't have the videos on these. Um, I don't always tape my, my process, but this right here is um, a pour that I did. Same situation. I poured the base, put the colors, maneuvered, manipulated the paint, and then after it dried, went back and did my planets and the stars and that sort of thing. So there's that one. And then I did this one. This one I think got a little bit too much. Um, I put just too much into this particular work because it's too way too busy. First of all, the background's kind of busy, so I shouldn't have put so many planets and stuff, and I hate that, by the way. But um, yeah, um, you know, the stars and the planets, I airbrush those on after the base is all dried. And then I put a coat of Tri Art Liquid Glass on there. And then this one is my most recent that I just did. Um, this one right here. I just decided to do the big starburst with a few planets, a little bit of a galaxy thing going on there. And again, I don't like that. I don't think I'll be putting that little swirl in, which is supposed to be like a separate universe coming through there, you know. Um, the James Webb Telescope is really inspiring me and, and showing me a lot of beautiful photos that it's sending back to Earth. So that's what's happening in my brain. So anyway, I'm going to embellish this with some planets on some stars, and we'll see what we come up with. The base colors that I've got in here, um, I poured, um, this is Heritage Quinacrinome Gold. It's mixed with some Golden's Bright Gold Fine. I've got some Golden's Quinacrinome Magenta. I've got um, some of my favorites. The Pebeo Iridescent colors are beautiful. <clears throat> How I got this color to pop through with just these colors that I put on here, I don't know, but I love that color. And I also have some Holbein Phalo Turquoise in this and some Pebeo Iridescent Violet Blue. So all those covers, colors put down on my black base, moved them around on, you know, tilted and that sort of thing. And this is what I got. Let it dry and we're getting ready to embellish it. Let's do this. <music>
just need to put a coat of or two of the triart liquid glass because that's what I use to finish my paintings um, so yeah there we have it um, I'm going to add a little bit deeper blue to this I think before I resin it so yeah so there it is um, stick with me and I will go ahead and post the totally finished product with the resin on it as soon as it's done okay so there we have it I think putting that uh, coat of liquid art um, li um, tri art liquid glass really pulls the color out I like that it's kind of like it's a finished resin so it, it really does help so let me get a little bit closer here and you can see some of the detail that I put on there on the planets added I added some more black and stuff down in here and a little bit more around the star so all in all I think that turned out pretty good so there it is thanks for joining me guys y'all take care